Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Fernandez and welcome to our channel, I'd like to inspire mental health. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I post weekly videos about mental health and my experience with bipolar disorder. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about why I took ADHD medications for several years. I wanted to start this video by saying there's two parts to this. On this video, I'm going to talk about why I started taking them and in next week's video, I'll talk about why I stopped or what happened after I stopped taking ADHD medications. So ADHD is very common, right? It, it affects a lot of people, a lot of kids, a lot of teenagers, and even adults. Um, it is something that can also be misdiagnosed. So last week I told you guys about my diagnosis with dyslexia and how I got tested. Um, and that had a lot to do with me being diagnosed with ADD, so attention deficit disorder. And basically what happens is that I am not sure if actually if I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder before or after I did the ADHD, you know, the dyslexia test. Um, but I get tested for that. And something that you need to know is that when you have a mental illness, something like bipolar disorder, sometimes you're going to display symptoms that can be like, you know, like with bipolar disorder, you have anxiety, you can have OCD, you can like display uh, areas of ADHD, but they're not like, sometimes it's just the bipolar disorder. And at the time, whenever you're being diagnosed, it's really hard to tell which one it is. So I get tested um, in that testing center and they tell me, you know, you have dyslexia, you have ADHD, but it's very rare for somebody to have all those things. It's very rare for somebody to have these several learning disabilities, having ADHD and having dyslexia. And I mean, whenever I went to my psychiatrist, I think, because I went to several psychiatrists, and the second one that I went to, I told him, I've been diagnosed with this, the other doctor said I had this, and he was like, it's very rare to have ADHD and have dyslexia, but because sometimes, you know, it might all just be like your diagnosis, it might be your bipolar disorder, and it's not ADHD. Why? Because whenever you have depression, for example, it can be hard to concentrate, you might not be able to think straight, and you might not be doing as well in your exams, you can't pay attention in class. And adding to that, having dyslexia, um, some of the symptoms as well, you're like reading slower, like all this kind of stuff, it is very easy to mix it up. So why do I think that it might have been a misdiagnosis? So basically the first sign was that my psychiatrist says, it might not be it. It might be it. It might not be it. But we don't. We won't know. And that is the difficulty of it, right? So, um, as the years go on, I am also taking another medication for bipolar disorder that makes it really hard to stay awake in the morning. So I am prescribed the ADHD medication or the ADD medication, and I. It's helping me, right? I'm doing that I'm paying more attention in class, I'm able to stay awake, and I do notice that sometimes, you know, like one time I forgot to take it during that time that I was taking that medication, the bipolar medication, and I would be falling asleep everywhere. So I thought, you know, I have this ADHD, I need this medication, and I'm afraid of what would happen if I ever tried to not take it. So why exactly do I start believing that I shouldn't be taking it? So basically I become very stable right? I, this year especially, I've been extremely stable uh, with my bipolar diagnosis and a lot of times medications can be very toxic to your body and taking less, obviously you should always talk to your doctor to see if that is an option for you, but taking less can help your body, right? Um, so then in having those conversations, it's like, what if I don't have ADHD, you know, that is like a common misconception when you have depression, I've been very stable, what happens if I stop taking it? So I started that process, but obviously I was extremely scared because I was like, what if I start doing horrible in school? What if I, you know, I don't, I run out of time in the exams? What if I actually do have it and all these bad things happened or the stigma, you know, even realizing like you might not have something can be hard. Um, Cause it's like, okay, so all these years I thought I had this, but I didn't. Um, but I mean, you gotta face it sometimes. And so 
I decided to stop taking them. And I am going to talk about what happens when I stop taking them on next week's video. So with that, I hope that everybody is safe and healthy and happy mental health month. And always remember that there's a light at the end of the tunnel and a bad day does not mean a bad life.